Hi, my name is Andrew, and before I jump into the content that I wanted to talk to you about, I, I want to give you just a brief um, background on myself. So, uh, I'm a U.S. Marine veteran. I got out of the Marine Corps in 2020. Um, around that time, I saw a lot of small businesses were were hurting as a result of COVID lockdowns and um, all the other craziness that was going on around that time. Um, and that wasn't something that sat well with me because I believe very strongly that small business is the backbone of America. Uh, and so I started my company, Sovereign SEO, with the objective to connect small businesses to um, it, to more customers so, so that you guys can help more people and have the growth and success that, that you want. Uh, so with that in mind, um, I wanted to talk to you about how you can use your presence online to, to do exactly that. So the first thing I wanted to take a look at with you um, is just some metrics. This is a tool that I use called AREFs. Among other things, it allows you to take a look at how many people are searching for what online every month. Um, so Roofing Companies Phoenix gets searched on average 700 times per month. Uh, Roofing Repair Phoenix gets searched 300. Roofing Companies Phoenix, 300. Um, so the, the point that I'm making here is that there are truly thousands of people searching online every month for the services that you offer. Um, and so I'm sure you can understand how beneficial it could be for your business to capture even a small portion of those searches. You know, even if you were just able to capture 100 of those searches per month out of the thousands per month that happen, <clears throat> um, we know that about um, about five to ten percent of the people that, that visit your page will will actually reach out. So that's that's um, you know, that's that's five to ten people every month who are reaching out to you who you don't have to go out and knock doors for or, um, you know, any any of the other more manual, tedious ways of going out to find business. Um, so, you know, with that in mind, I, I want to go ahead and give you some tips on how you can make that happen for your site. Uh, so here's your site right now. Uh, it's a great looking site. Um, I, I really like the, the theming, the design it looks very nice. Um, one thing that I do want to recommend to you is that you add a lot more text-based content like this. And the reason for that is because adding more content allows you to talk about more of these keywords. So I would suggest that you add about 500 to 1,000 words to your, to your main page um, and probably some addition, additional um, content on your back pages here too. Um, and highlight as much as you can words like Roofing Companies Phoenix, uh, Ro Phoenix Roofing Repair, maybe Phoenix Roof Replacement. Um, you know, those sorts of words kind of let Google know when somebody searches for it that you want your page in front of that person. All right, so that's my first tip. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like in practice, I searched for Roofers Phoenix up here. Um, your first competitor to pop up is Level 5 Roofing. Here's their website. Um, if we scroll down to their content, we see Roofing Phoenix, Roofing Companies in Phoenix AZ, Roof Replacement in Phoenix AZ, uh, Roofing Contractors in Phoenix AZ, you know, and, and there's more. Um, we could go through and find them, but I think you get the idea. Uh, so these guys, they, they add in enough content that they're able to, to reiterate on these keywords a lot of times throughout their page. Um, and so, you know, as a result, they're... Um, they're ranking for this keyword very highly in, in the first place, actually. Um, so that's that's the first tip I have for you is get more of those keywords into your content on your web page. The second tip is kind of the second half of the equation, how you rank highly down here. And that's something called backlinks. Um, all a backlink is, is it's just somewhere that your site is referred to on the internet by another site. This is you guys right now. Um, and just for reference, um, this, this is level five. So this is the site we're looking at over here. Um, they have 1.2 thousand backlinks, so 1.2 thousand references to their website from over 300 different websites. Um, currently, you guys don't have any, so I, I would strongly recommend that you get some. The reason that this is important is because what I talked about first, content, kind of dictates what words you're going to rank for on Google, but the backlinks that you have are what's going to give you kind of some authority um, in the eyes of Google when it comes to comes to searching. And that will give you um, 
basically the ability to rank highly. So the number of backlinks that you have is going to dictate whether you rank on page one, um, you know, up here, like level five roofing is right now, or whether you're gonna end up back here on like page seven or eight where, where nobody goes to actually, you know, do their searching. So um, this is important. I definitely recommend that you add some, you, you, you go out and you get some backlinks. Um, my third and final tip for you has to do with this right here. Um, this is the map pack. This is Google's business directory. Um, I noticed you guys, I, I, you don't have a Google business profile that I could find right now. Um, so the first thing I would recommend is that you make a Google business profile. Um, and then secondly, <clears throat> that you get something called um, citations. And what a citation is, is it somewhere that your business has its name, phone number, and address listed publicly on the internet? So think somewhere like BBB, yellowpages.com, etc. Um, those those are places that are you know basically business directories online. And so my suggestion here is you go and you find these companies' um, citations. You go and you find where they they have citations, and you go to that business directory and you get a citation for your business as well in each one of those um, and if you're doing that for all these top three you're going to end up more with with more than any one of them by by the end and you'll see that that does a lot to move your google business profile into one of these spots um, and these spots are super valuable because a lot of people just go right here for their business you know they look at these top three a lot of people will not even make it down to the websites um, so these are these are a really good place for you to be in order to get more exposure for your website um, or to just get people calling you right off the bat. So that's the last tip I have for you. Uh, just to go through and rehash, the first two tips were to get more content on your website so that you can put in keywords like this in, in, your, um, in your content. The second one was to get, get some more backlinks um, so that you guys can rank four important, so with the content so you can rank four important words and for the with the backlink so that you can rank on page one for those important words. And my third and final tip was um, get yourself a Google business profile and get uh, citations for it so that you can um, rank here in the map pack as well. So I really hope this information has been helpful to you. I would really appreciate if you took the time to give me just one quick line of feedback so I know if this uh, this, this has been helpful. Um, and of course, if you have any other questions at that time or if there's anything that I can do to help you guys out with that, you know, I'd, I'd absolutely love to do that. So thank you so much for your time watching this and I look forward to speaking with you again.